Now, live from Artie's Cut Rate Liquor Store, Shooting Range, Candle Shop, Bowling Alley, Massage Parlor, it's the Dave and Doc Podcast. Hello, hello. Happy day, happy day. What's up, man? How's it going? Just chilling like a villain. Chilling like a villain. Speaking of the villains. Thick like a Coke can. Got a special guest today. <laughs> we'll get into that. But yeah, yeah. The, the, we got the, the, the inter- You didn't even pick up my, my theme. I didn't know I Hurts got me. It. I just hey. it's the it's the pre-show conversation we have. Just that's, the, that's it. That's no. it. Coke can. Coke um, can. It's the Dave and Doc Podcast, folks. Episode 65. I'm Dave. And I am Doc. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm side-eyed and side-eyeing all, all over the place. But all okay. things David Doc on our website, DavidDoc.com. That's Dave, A-N-D, Doc, D-O-C.com. 20,000 plus subscribers strong. Thank you all for listening. Clearly the number one podcast listening and watching, on YouTube. Getting there. Clearly. Thank you, everybody. As Mike we, Carter we know, said. We know you embrace the ADD. As Mike Carter said, one of the best podcasts. That's right. We're on the list. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> the list is long. It's a long list. Hey, it is episode 65. We do have an interview coming that? up with a friend of the show, Cassie Malay yes. from uh, Eastern Crime Zone. Right, so, the villain. Yeah, yeah so that was good. That was good. Look at you. I mean, I... I hey, look. Watch this. Watch this. Watch, no, look at the camera. Look at this real quick. All look right. at this. Right, it's a, it's because more light is. Bu- I've been yeah. talking to Jesus all my life. Sorry, I'm so sorry, squirrel. Okay, but I didn't know it did that. Yeah, that's Hallelujah. it's it's it's. So I can tell you why. Hallelujah. If you care, I can tell you. Hallelujah. Why. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll let you go. You just you go on. No, why does it do that? So what's happening is two things. One, you're blocking the light behind you, right? Because you can see, like, you know, it, it can kind of do the same thing. I just, so, th- I just thought it was my aura. It, no. Damn. I'm sorry. That hurts my feelings. It's not okay. your... Okay, so not I'm your blocking aura. the light. So you're blocking the light behind you, and and you're getting a closer reflection from the light in front of you, like the key light. Oh, so if I why. jump, it does it, too. Oh, that kind of hurt. Um, stop doing yeah, that. Don't hurt the <laughs> anus, man. Don't don't listen. It wasn't so much the anus, but the... The weenus. Scrotum. <laughs> the weenus. The weenus. Yeah. The weenus. No, it can't do. We're gonna have to rubber band it, but anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he's Dave and I am Doc, and we're the Doc and Dave and Dave and Doc. Episode sixty-five. Yeah, episode sixty-five. Cassie Malay coming up. Uh, we'll talk to her from Eastern Crime Zone. New website for her. New episode. She took a little time off. Um, you know, because well, I mean, it's just hard to talk about murders all the time. Right. So you know, um, right? She doesn't have a positive podcast like we do. So, uh, but happy to talk to Cassie here. Uh, but a, very a informative, bit. very yeah, very it really cool, good, very cool, and um, she doesn't squirrel like we do. So I really admire that about her. Yeah, and I don't know how she does it, but uh, well, she, I think she's just she's probably <laughs> she's probably a professional. <laughs> I think she's actually a professional. that's what it is. I think that's what it is. But in honor in honor of Eastern Crime Zone. And and you know the the villains and all things. So I do have some true crime, some crime Ooh, look at related you. dad jokes look today. At you. I like it, and I and I'm pretty excited about today. It. You are the professional. Some writer. of these some of these are pretty good. Some of these are pretty good. So all right, without further ado, let's get this going. All right, all right. Hang on. <laughs> I know I was kind of I got all pumped up. <laughs> Did you hear about the drug dealers being interrogated by the police? <laughs> no. So apparently they do crack. <laughs> As do I. <laughs> That's how we get up for the show. A little That's upper, exactly little, little right. downer. It's okay. Um, <laughs> what happens when you steal somebody's coffee mug? Um, what's that? You're, it's actually called mugging. This is <laughs> my god. My god. What is a criminal's best asset? A criminal's what? His liability. That's true. Mm-hmm. I like that one. I don't see. Um, did you hear about the cartoonist that was found dead in his home? <laughs> no. The I... details about it are a bit sketchy. Of course they are. <laughs> that was pretty good. And she was a dirty whore. <laughs> 
Sorry, that's not part of the joke. Just Did that. you hear about the thief that <laughs> fell and broke his leg in wet cement? No. He became a hardened criminal. He sure did. <laughs> you know, hey, you know when he fell? When he, when he did fall and broke his leg, I have exclusive audio of when that happened. Oh, <laughs> that was it. Right there. Did you know that I shot a man with a paintball gun just to watch him die? <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> you like that? I, I, that did, one, I, like, I that. like that one. That, was, that took a second, but yeah. I get it, yeah. Also, my drug dealer cracks me up. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean... If a judge loves the sound of his voice, you better be ready to expect a long sentence. Even a run on. <laughs> Good Lord. That's pretty funny, Ashley. That's, I know, right? I like, that. I like that one. Did you hear about the man who uh, stole the vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no. He got away clean. Oh. But later he was hosed when the law caught up with him. I, I, that was my own little personal touch. That well, I thought I thought something was going to be along the line because every time I hear a joke about a vacuum cleaner, the word sucked is in there. And I was very excited because that's one of my favorite words. Why? And the last one, why did the thief break into the bakery? <laughs> why? He needed the dough. Of course he did. Because <laughs> he's a dirty whore. And he needed the tub. Stab him up. No. 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 Bart Stillwell and Peppy Bennett. That's <laughs> Squirreling all day. That's it. Oh, my goodness. You liked some of those. I'm, I'm those happy. Were that, that, that no, makes, those that, were that good. That makes me happy. That oh. makes me happy. No, no, no. I did. I like some we, of those. We got, we got going on those. That's why we did a bunch of them, because once I know you're actually kind of liking it, we, <laughs> we got to keep going with the material. <laughs> That's right. Um, uh, so I got a little Home Depot story if you want to hear it. Are they criminal at Home Depot? Uh, they are. They're all criminal at Home Depot. No, so... Does Fiona Apple shop at uh, Home Depot? She... <laughs> Man, I had a crush on her. Oh, my God. Did you? That video... You watched that music video. Whew. Yeah, I was going to say, you watched the music video. Do you know that, like, she told She us, also said this world is bullshit. She, you know, she was... She's crazy. Yeah, you were talking about somebody that's not... She was she talking crazy. about being, like, after she got famous, she said she was on an elevator in a hotel... And basically, a guy like grabbed her, stopped the elevator, get, threw her in a in a room in the hotel, and raped her. Like in the hotel, like right when she got famous, and she didn't talk about it for years. Like it was the weirdest thing. Like just where out was, of the blue, she was, was like this? on a talk show one day, and she just said, well, "You know, I got raped once." And everybody's like, "Oh, well, what? this show just like get, took a you know, you know, Fiona, what's your favorite chocolate bar?" Well, you know, I got raped once. I'm, <laughs> okay, okay. I don't think I knew that. No, it was a weird story, but uh, it, yeah, but yeah, I had I had the crush on uh, Fiona Apple because just because I'm feeling like a criminal. It just I don't and know. I need to be redeemed. Oh my for God, the this is awful. Against. I apologize, Fiona. Fiona, if you're listening and you're not, man, that probably just cost us fifty cents. Oh, it probably did. Yeah, Dang we have gummit. probably. Copyright violation. You got to stop shoot, singing, man. Shoot, I'm sorry. Uh, I got carried away. That's okay. I don't think their algorithm will pick up on that. <laughs> I don't it think so, so. It was so bad. Um, so Home Depot. So this is how my this is how my life works. Um, and I don't know if your life works this way. I think it does work this way a little bit. Generally, you and I, I believe, and if I'm speaking out of turn, please tell me. <laughs> I can correct you. It's yes, okay. please. It's please, okay. It'll be okay. Please correct me. It'll be okay. I feel like we, you know, we kind of, we kind of live and exist, uh, and, and we work and we both work a lot of hours. You probably more so than me, I'm sure. Um, I think we're working a lot, but uh, we, we, yeah, both we both work a lot. Uh, and, and, and we do so just because one, we like to have a career and we're, we're, we're proud of that, but mainly it's to take care of our family, to give our family everything that they want. Right. We spoil our families. I know I do. And I know you do. I'm just more vocal about it because <laughs> that's just who I am. Uh, hey, she married me for better or worse. So Lindsay has this thing. I do it all for the nookie. I'll just be honest with you. Uh, uh, right. Uh, he brings home his pay for love. Um, it's the, you didn't know you were going to get like the, I, I the, didn't. I didn't know. So, <laughs> so like, so like I, you know, so Lindsay has this thing where, um, she gets tired with stuff, even if it's new after a few years. 
Oh. She doesn't know she has the problem. I've told her she has this problem, but she just doesn't think so. This, so when it's new and fresh, it's, it's all fine. It's, it's all great. But then but after then, a couple of years, it's, you know. So, But then after that, you know, it's kind of like Christian Leitner said that about the Fab Five. He said, you know, everybody was in love with the Fab Five mm-hmm. because it was new and fresh. But once that kind of wore off, everybody's like, yeah. 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 So, so, you know, we've had the... Go Duke. You know, we, you know, we had this house 1992, built. 1992. Um, 7151. So we... we, we, we built, saying. I know. So, so, we built this, so we built this house about three years ago, right? Yes. Um, and everything's new. We built this city. Um, you know, the, the, we the, built the, this city um, on Dave's bank. We built this city. We did that for sure. So everything's new, right? And right. when we built the house, we bought a brand new refrigerator as well. Right. To be in the house. Cause you yeah. got to, you got we to. Had, yeah, and we, and we had, got this, to. we had the secondary one out in the garage. Yes. As you know. Yes. Um, and that's the, and it drinks, where we get our drinks. Yeah. Drinks and that stuff. And we have a deep freezer out there too. But Lindsay being Lindsay. Yes decided, you know what, I just don't like our stove and refrigerator anymore. I'm oh. Like, oh, that's interesting. You just decided you didn't like it. And so... Uh, this is know, not going... And so what I so place. what I said was, well, you know, whatever. Place. So we, we go out for dinner. <laughs> you said whatever. <laughs> that, was, that was your first mistake. You should have so, said, uh, hell to the no. Um, so we go out to dinner, and then we go by Home Depot, and she's showing me like kind of what she wants and everything. And then she picked out the wrong color, and I'm like, if I'm going to buy this, it's going to look cool. So I got like a black slate. But anyway, so we, of course, we purchased a new... Oh, well, we decided oh, on a stove. So now here's the thing. Here's oh, the cool thing. Home Depot has a thing right now where if you apply for a Home Depot card, right, mm-hmm. you get six months uh, no interest on any new purchases ah, you make. If ah, you make enough, if nice. you purchase enough stuff, and we did. Uh, <laughs> okay, shit. Refrigerators and... Uh, they're we expensive. have qualified for said uh, terms of agreement. Because you know me, if I'm going to buy something, it's going to be techie, right? Sure. Like, it's got to... It, I, I mean, like, my refrigerator has to have Wi-Fi access. Like, I have to be able to do shit on an app. Same with my stove. Does it have the door like you have to tap on it a certain way for that damn thing to open? No, or is so it still this the, is more the traditional. So this is the two doors for refrigerator, and then yeah. below is a is a pullout drawer for the freezer. Yeah. Yeah. And it does. You ready? You ready? Ready. It does craft ice. Ooh, we got the little balls. Craft little balls of ice. Craft ice, not craft just. Ice. That's pretty cool. Now, well, I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna charge for those when people use them. Uh, just kidding. So anyway, so it does the craft just ice. Be aware. Just, yeah, be just be aware. Just be aware for the craft ice. Yeah. So anyway, so we picked out we picked out Nuggets. the ones right, uh, and, and we we picked out the stove and the refrigerator right, mm-hmm. and then and then we sold our others right. We sold the stove and we sold the refrigerator, so they're sold. Nice. We got people coming to pick those up like uh, next week or something. So okay, but I mean you know I mean we, we did sold. you do that on a marketplace or did you do it on Craigslist? I, I don't know. We didn't do Craigslist because I don't I don't know. I let Lindsay handle that. So oh, okay. I, I have well, actually good have job, no Lindsay. Idea. Yeah. Well, I mean job. it's the least she could do. Oh damn. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> It's the least <laughs> she could do. Like, I mean, literally the least. So anyway, so so here's the thing oh, with the Home Depot thing, right? So I'm they waiting. had this thing. So I'm like, oh, cool. Rather than than old Dave shit about five grand, just you know, you know, <laughs> right? You know what? I, I I like that. For six months, I can just pay it off. You know, sure. And then well, just, no. and then, I, just, and then I and then I have no need for the Home Depot credit card. And then I was going to kill it, right? Right. So, right. Uh, so I thought, okay, I'll do this, right? And Home Depot makes it really easy on their website to do so. And so, like, you you put your items in a cart, right? Okay. Give okay. it a shipping address, and then I actually paid for them to like bring it into the house. Yes. And 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 all that stuff. Yeah, take um, care of it. So yeah, you don't have to. It, right, I don't want to do I any like of it. that stuff. I like so, it. No, I like that. Um, and, and so like, and then it's like, okay, would you like to apply for the 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 credit card to do all this? And I'm like, I, I absolutely would. Right. So I do the the application for the credit card. Hey, you're approved, and here's the link and all this stuff. Um, it, it, and then and then the problem happened. Okay, so. Mm. The problem happened with uh, you, you get a temporary credit limit, right? As they are processing everything. Ah, here it the is. The temporary credit limit was nowhere near enough for the shit we're purchasing. To cover what you're buying. So so I chat with the Home Depot because I don't want to call somebody. It's on a Sunday. And I'm like, oh, God. So I chat with the Home Depot. Hello, Home Depot. And the Home Depot says, well, today? did you link your new card you should have got an email that links your card with your account. I said, I said, hey, hey, Home Depot person, you know what? I don't think I did it. So I did that, right? 
Yes. And then I came back to that person. I said, hey, person, I did that, but it's showing it's showing a much larger uh, credit limit when I, like, right? Like, so, I mean, I'll, 15 grand. So it was like showing 15 grand on the on, on the screen. Right. But then when I try to do it, it, it says, you, it do says it. You, you don't have, you don't have enough money. And I'm like, hey, that seems weird because you said that I did. And I'm trying to take advantage of your promotional right, right. So so then I call. So then I call the Home Depot. Cause because now we gotta get we gotta get a human. And I'm talking to to Jake from State Farm. I, I, I don't know what his name is. Jake. Uh, and, from State and, Farm. and I said, Hey, I said, Hey man. Hey Jake. Uh so here here's where we're at. I said, I, I'm trying to do this promotional thing. And he says, Oh, great. Have you taken advantage of the Home Depot no interest credit card? I said, Hey, it's funny you mentioned that. I did. Uh and he said and then, so then he, t- th- so I was, I, w- I started to tell him what you're the really flustered about this. I am. I'm very, upset. I'm very sorry. I'm very upset. Take a drink. It's okay. It, it's, it's okay. Hands. It's not the air. drink that I need. No. So, everywhere. Uh, so, so I said, Hey, you know, Jake, uh, you know, I, I did that. And, and he said, well, but it's not working, Jake. He said, d- he Jake, said, well, sometimes the, the approval takes some time or whatever. I'm like, no, Jake, that's not how this works. You generally, if you're not getting approved for something, you'll know. You know, right. I, denied. You, you, you know because they just say, "Yeah, we're not going to approve you for that." Denied. I'm like, I got immediately approved and like got an account and all that stuff. He said, "Okay, great." He said, "So what's the issue?" And I said, "Well, Jake, uh, it's like this. It's like this. You, it, 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 you're telling me that it, it, when I, there's two places to log in, right, to look at this. One is showing dose. One is showing plenty of money available. The other one is showing like a thousand dollars." Yeah. With an asterisk. And we're not going to get there. And I said, Jake, uh, I would love it if I was spending less than $1,000 right now, but I am not. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm spending way more than that. <laughs> and Jake said, oh, oh would I Would you see. like our purchase or not, Jake? Because and, and this so Jake, is what we need to do. He looks at my happen. shopping cart and he goes, oh. I'm like, yeah, oh. It's like you're about to miss out, Jake. Just so, so, you know. so, you know, he said, well, it looks like there's a temporary uh, credit limit. I'm like... Jake, why that's would there be a temporary credit limit when it's a promotion that Home Depot is? He's like, well, I guess nobody ever just does this and buys it right away. And I'm like, that's the only reason I did it. I mean, so I could just buy it. Like, I don't, I, I don't want to do that. That doesn't make any sense. It makes though. no sense. It's like, here's the promotion. And it's like, well, you know, most people just wait on the card to get here. And I'm like, I, I don't care if I ever see the card. I'm never going to use it again. I'm this using is, it for this. And I'm this using alone. it for this because I thought that would be kind of cool to like, you know, yeah, it's six months, answers free. Sure, I'll do it. Uh, and Jake says, huh, well, let me let me talk to somebody. So he puts me on hold and I get the... Da, 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 Here at the baby. Home Depot, we want to help you do whatever it is that you need to do. Home Depot is a proud sponsor of college football and Josh on Lucas. ESPN. College game day brought to you by the Home Depot with Pat McAfee. Ah. Yeah, with with Pat McAfee and that fuck stick Paul Feinbaum, ESPN. Fucking anyway. Sorry, I won't go tangent. No, ESPN. No, they don't let him be on game day. They, he's been on not there before, not, but not not consistently. No, because nobody wants to hear that jackass because he's an idiot. That's why. That's why Corso lives on. Yeah. Because um, we don't want fine bomb on there. No. So anyway, uh, so so they come back and they're like, "Hey, we see the problem." And I'm like, "Why? Well, That's know. good. Hey, we're diagnosing. Like, it's like good. I, I we're know what getting the problem there. Is. He goes, "It's a temporary credit limit." I'm like, "Well, I think we already established that." I'm like, like, "I need all the money." I said, "Actually, I don't even need all the money. I just need enough money to buy make what I'm the purchase." To buy. Let me get my purchase on. And he said, oh, 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 okay. He said, "Let me see if I can get that released." I said, "Understand? I don't need you to release it all. I I just need enough." I said, "I said." Full disclosure, Jake. Uh, I said, I am purchasing this, and I will probably never use this card again. It's probably just gonna like I'm just gonna let it expire, right? Like I will this I will pay this in probably three months, right? And we're gonna be done with it. Right. He's like, yeah, I understand, I understand. So he comes back and he says, I I'm I'm talking to a supervisor now. Let me put you back on hold. Him. Okay, here at the Home Depot. And then yeah, then here at the Home Depot. How how uh, Josh Lucas has made much money being our spokesperson. Do you have lube? Because uh, at the Home Depot, we do have cement. We're ramming it. We can, <laughs> we're ramming it in your rectum. We can make it rough and ragged. Home Depot splinters. Welcome. Um. And so so then so Jake gets back on the phone. He goes, Hey 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 Dave. I said, Hey hey Jake. How's it going? Uh. uh he said, I, I'm Are still there any ta- cracks in your wood, Jake? He said, I'm any still cracks ta- in your wood. I'm still talking to my supervisor. I'm like, <laughs> I said, Hey, Jake. you're talking to me. I said, Hey, Jake. 
You, you, you don't have to keep popping back on to just like, I'm going to hold on. Like I'm doing other stuff. You're on speaker. And he goes, okay, I just wanted to make sure you knew I was still doing something. I'm like, I, I, I got you, buddy. Yeah. It's no problem. If we disconnect, then we're going to have a problem. Yeah. So then he comes back on like three minutes later. He goes, Dave, Dave I'm still waiting for a supervisor to look at this. Like, Jake, again, I, I, I love you, buddy. I appreciate the aggressiveness. I'm not, I, I don't need to be coddled. I just need to know that something's right. happening. Right. So then the supervisor gets on the phone, right? I'm in a hurry to get things done. He said, oh, uh, hello. Russian, Russian. Hello, Dave. I'm uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm the supervisor. Blah, 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 blah. I'm, Beave. Can he, I make, be, can he just be Beave? I make $32,000 a year. I'm a supervisor at Home Depot. You know, it's like, whatever, dude. Thank, thanks for giving me your credentials. I hope it's more than that because, gosh, that's that can't be that. I don't great, know. Great, I just great, assume Home great, Depot great, doesn't great, pay worth the shit, great, but I don't know deal anyway uh, okay. so anyway George, he said going. he said can i can i confirm who you are i said yes i am dave man <laughs> and then then he just didn't say anything and and he said sir are you still there you I say said, i am a love master i will shoot you out from here baby and i said i said well yeah i'm still here and he said well he said oh i'm sorry i thought the line went dead i just need to he said can i confirm you know who you are and i said yes <laughs> And he said, he said, oh, did you go away again? He asked me again. And I said, I what said, do you need me to I say, said, dude? I said, you're not asking me any question. <laughs> How are you going to? The verify? only question you ask is if you could <laughs> confirm who I was. And I said, yes. <laughs> I, I, what would you like for me to say? He, goes, he said, oh, man. I'm sorry. He said, um, he said, I'm sorry. I, 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 I like, it's almost like he said it like I'm supposed to know. You were supposed to go ahead and go into all of your demographic information. He said, could you give me your full name? And I said, I sure can. I said, I said, Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> uh, no. So I gave him my full name and he said, your address. I'm like, all right, here it is. He said, and zip code. I'm like, dude, really? I know the ad. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Here's the zip code. He said, uh, phone number. I'm like, Last four, your social. Okay. DNA. Are we getting somewhere? Yes. Beave. Beave, do we have this hooked up? And he said, so as I understand the issue, you're trying to... I said, and I stopped him. I'm like, hey, man, here's the deal. Like, I, I just need enough money on the card right now to purchase, to purchase what you want. It's all I need. It's all I need. But it doesn't work that way, Dave, man. It does not no, work it doesn't. that way. So then he puts me on hold, and he comes back, and he says, we're talking to a uh, uh, credit specialist or whatever, and I said, guys, you just need to release the temp hold. Like, that's all that needs to take place here. Like, I know that happens at some point in time, so you can do it manually. So that's just, I, that's what I need. He goes, yeah, I think that that'll be our solution. And I'm like, that's not, you don't have to think. 45 minutes. On oh, the you're way too patient. Wow. 45 minutes. No, and they I'd come back like, and they're like, Dave, we've, like, we've, we've released the temporary hold and blah, blah. Now you have access to all the money and you can uh, feel free to shop. I didn't even wait for him to finish. I'm like, all right, thanks, man. Hung up and clicked submit order. Like right then. Did it go? Yes. Worked oh. fine. So, um, so that boom, was, new fridge. Wi-Fi stove. compatible. And stove. And a stove. Is the stove Wi-Fi compatible? I think it is. And it has an air fryer built in. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, it also so Lindsay does, just got over it. It also does oral. That's costing you, right? It ought to. Costing you a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. So Lindsay just gets over stuff in a couple of years. Yeah. I, I don't know how I'm still here. Oh, wow. Right? Coke can. Um, that's it. It's Coke can. That's it. <laughs> Um, that's very interesting. Dude. Yeah, it is. Um, but, uh, I mean, yeah. So is it here yet? I did, you know, today I didn't, I didn't make it into our, to our living area. Cause no, we, we were, it's not, it's, we, I think it's we, we delivered. Had to get, we had to get after this sucker. Next Friday, I think is when we're sweet. Yeah. Is when we're now here's the key. Don't let them just take away your fridge and your current stove without the other being somewhat readily available within the next 24 hours or you're going to have some fun. I mean, yeah. I, I know you can use your deep freezer and your other fridge. Too yeah. So but, yeah, the refrigerator is already empty. Like the, the one in the, in the uh, kitchen's already yeah. empty. And then the, the stove where uh, I think we're going to try to get, I think that's going out of here on like Thursday of next week. So it's not a big deal. I mean, everything will be back in place and look at you, whatever. The primary reason that she wanted to change her, this is this is great. She's probably going to be upset for me talking about this. But we don't. But care. I don't care. We don't really care. Um, is because she said, well, the, the doors don't open all the way because like the, the the pantry's right there, and so like I just take the refrigerator since it's on wheels, just move pull it, it out, move it a little inches. bit forward, and I'm like, hey, look. And she goes, well, I just like the other refrigerator better. Okay. What do, what do I know? Wow. 
What do I know? Wow. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. Uh, Spending all your money on me and spend it. <laughs> Make it rain. Um, so, uh, yeah. So uh, speaking of interviews, uh, Tennessee Backyard Wrestling. Hey. If you haven't watched that YouTube channel, folks, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Just, just do it. Just go watch it. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. That just needs to take place. Um, TBW, TBW. It is beautiful stuff. Uh, I would, uh, you, you want to watch that. Uh, well, I want to know what kind of like health and safety protocols they have. That's going to be one of my questions. I'm going to be like, listen, I, guys, y'all got me a little worried about some of this here. Well, and again, I mean, there's a ring, right? Like they're not doing yeah, the crazy crap. Like have they're you not ever doing the. Seen, have you ever like been in a real. Yes. That mess is not comfy to kind of fall no, it's on. It's like, not really forgiving. No, it's it's like press board with a you know a yeah. tarp on top. And of like it. the rope, I mean that stuff cuts you up. I mean they actually mm-hmm. literally form calluses. Yeah. Um, on their bodies from hitting it. So oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know about all that, man. I don't um, know. Yeah, but it's I mean it, they they get after it. Um, they get after it. But um, anyway, so that's so, so that's coming up. Um, oh, I can't get T. B. B. Yeah, sure. Definitely. And then, de- oh, look at you. Flashing gang signs. I'm just saying. Sorry, Crips. <laughs> Sorry, Crips. I can't do this. It's not. <laughs> um, uh, so th- this will flow nicely, and, and maybe we can ask Cassie about this. I've started watching the show FBI True. I don't know if you've watched this or not. I have not. Uh, so My TV time is limited. Yeah, so. It's basically sports and, you know, Yellowstone when it's on. Yeah, so. And it's going away, but then they'll do a spinoff. So FBI yeah. True, like, so I've tried to watch this because it's true stories, and it's like people that have retired agents, right? And so they talk true about cases. Of seven yeah. agents picked to hunt down a wild man. And they're and they're interviewing, so uh, so they're interviewing, uh, like, it's, an, it's a former agent interviewing other former agents, right? Oh. And I had to stop watching it. Because does it give you nightmares? No, it was like the stories were interesting, but the lady who is the former agent interviewing the other agents, yeah, she answers their questions for them, and I can't take it anymore. So it's not really an interview. No, she's like, she's like, so, so then what? So, so then you guys probably raided the house, and he's like, yeah, we raided the house, and she's like, yeah, and then you busted in the door and all this stuff. It's like, shut the hell up, let the dude talk, let him talk. Um. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, what we'll to ask, uh, uh, Cassie about that, but, um, uh, but anyway, so, uh, hey, we've talked enough. We should probably talk to Cassie Malay. I'm excited. Uh, I'm glad, uh, glad to have her on. A quick, a quick note for you oh. folks. You're, you're, you viewers you're not home. going to be seen. Doc will not be seen in this because we had some difficulties this morning. We were, we were, and we're not able to fix this. Right. So Cassie is gonna, uh, we'll, we'll explain it to Cassie when we get yes, there. But yes, we uh, were, we're trying to get this going. And we were, Dave appropriately, you know, messes around with the equipment beforehand to make sure. I try. And for whatever reason today, it just didn't happen. So, no. so anyway, so, so my ugly mug, you know, will, will drop off, but you will still hear me. That's right. And I will still be just as ADD as I am of right course. now. Of course. Of um, course. The voice will sound the same, like it or not. That's right. And, and I, we will try to just continue to, to, you know, do what we do. All right, uh, so TBW without 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 further ado, E-C-Z. well, I think Cassie's in, so we're awesome. going to do a cool transition here. Oh, That's look really at you, good. cool at transition, you. and then hang on, uh, then uh, and then transition, transition, <laughs> transition, and then we'll get to Cassie Malay. Jesus. Okay, sorry. Thank you all. We'll we'll we'll, we'll follow up after. Yeah, yes. we'll be yes. we'll be we'll, we'll be we'll, yeah we'll, we'll be rocking. We'll talk to Cassie and then we'll be we'll rocking on. That's right. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, very fortunate and privileged to have a friend of the show on today. She's the host of Eastern Crime Zone with new episodes up now, a new website, all kinds of new things going. Cassie Malay, welcome back to the Dave and Doc podcast. Welcome back, Cassie. Welcome back. Thank you so much for having me again. I'm surprised you wanted me back after all the shenanigans I had last I, time. Well, vice versa, right? Like, I mean, we we think the same. Now, what who you don't see is Doc. He's here, I promise. I'm, I'm here you know, he's being punished. It's apparently he's in the in corner. Trouble. I got in trouble. I said, no, you can't. No, they put, you're not going to be on camera. They put baby in the corner. It's they okay. We, we will be okay. We'll be okay. But you'll hear me, but you can't see me. That's, yeah. That's probably a better thing. 
if you ask most people. So we, that's good. We don't normally have any technical issues because I kind of pride myself in not having those. But because uh, you are today, a professional broadcaster, I am a professional broadcaster. That's right. That's right. That's and right. you can see me, so that's the professional part. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, okay. But no, uh, yeah. So Doc, Doc is there, and uh, he's he's you he's will over hear there. me talking as as and as, asking questions, and, and then the rest of our show today, you'll see Doc, but not not during the interview. So, oh well. Um, so it's been a little bit since we talked with you. Um, and so like the first thing I wanted to talk about was, I mean, you took some time off, right? Like you kind of, you kind of took a step away. Was it just, did you take some time off because you're like, this is very depressing material and I can't <laughs> do this anymore. And I need to go lay under a table and cry. <laughs> uh, you would think that'd be the reason, but no. Um, okay. This cat's going to have to go. I'm sorry. She, oh, I love it. She was being like super chill, and then as soon as you hit record, she decides. Well, it's it's kind of it's kind of like talking to Doctor Evil or something, right? Like uh, yeah, my you know, Mr. You, my you Mr. Your, Bicklesworth. Yeah, you get your cat, and you're just you know petting it while you're plotting doom and That's destruction right. of the right. world. All the things. Of course, of course. No, um, so there was a lot going on in my life last year, and basically, I um. I was having really bad mental health issues. I let every single part of my life suffer. I had basically a mental breakdown of sorts. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Uh, no. Yeah, it's I mean, I mean, it's not fine, but you know what I mean. It's it's fine now. Um, <laughs> well, no, you took some time to help yourself work through it and and yeah. to get yeah. And um, so every part of my life was kind of going going to crap. And uh, so I had quit my job and I had done all these things. And so I was like, OK, let me put this on ice. And then um, the plan was to always next month, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do everything better. And yeah. you no, know, next month, I'm going to come back and I'm gonna do everything better. So now I'm finally back and doing things better. So I have um, I built this booth. Because I am learning carpentry from my new profession that I have. I work at trade shows now. Oh, wow. So, because you were physical therapy before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that right? yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. did uh, like insurance authorizations for a physical therapy clinic. But um, yeah, so now I work for um, one of the bigger wow, trade kinda, show companies. And cool. uh, yeah, so a lot of construction and carpentry. And I'm learning a lot of those things. So I built this booth in my basement and it's soundproof and this is like some soundboard that my dad got from working on movie sets behind yeah. me. And yeah, so built this, got the new mic, um, trying to do everything the way that I was pressuring myself to do last year. But now yeah. I'm mentally capable of achieving those things. And so with the right help, the right medication and everything, I'm feeling good about it and going about it the right way. Yeah, well, I mean, so <laughs> congratulations for being able to build anything because I can't. Uh, <laughs> and, and I mean, she's looking more like the professional broadcaster. Than I know, me. man. That's what I was checking out the stage. I know that's I mean, awesome. Right? And and she did it herself. I know it's awesome. I mean, that's really cool. That's really yeah. awesome. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. There's no there's there's no reverb. I don't hear any reverb. It sounds good. You know, there's there's good sound dampening there. So yeah good awesome. thank you so much because strong, strong work i've always questioned those things i'm like i can't hear anything but right. other people do so that's great no, got, no, a, that's... got a good, good looking mic what kind of mic is that because um, you know this is a blue yeti which is apparently very classic uh my my mom bought it for me so thank you jill oh uh, that's awesome <laughs> she, yes. my parents are very supportive so this was just uh, a gift of her to be like hey are you gonna do that thing you're really passionate about you've taken like a year you want to you want to do that? Wanna, 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 you, you ready to jump back in? We, we've got a cool mic for you. Classic. Exactly. Yeah. That's awesome. So when did you decide to get back to to doing it? I mean, you've got a, you got a few episodes out now. So and obviously a little bit ago, but like when, because I mean, a lot of research has to go in into that as well, right? Like, do you, so when you're recording episodes, this is all one run on sentence here. I was going to uh, say, put uh, a period, yeah, put a period sorry. in there, Doc. Um, <laughs> I get very excited about this. I'm very passionate. No. Uh, so like, so it will go back to the first one so when did you decide to get back into this i mean it was it was it a few months later and then you started like researching or was it just you know you wake up one day and you're like yeah here's some stories i want to work on um so the plan was to always come back i always knew that i wanted to do it because i really enjoyed making it it just the pressure of having a bunch of things at the same time wasn't working so yeah. the plan was to always come back but when i started like making the actual steps to um it was just the cases that I was already reading books about and looking up and the things that would be on my mind, you know, I'm in the, I'm in the Reddit comments, I'm reading all <laughs> the things and I'm just like, Oh my God, nobody in my life um, 
wants to hear me talk about this as much as I want to talk about this. <laughs> so it's like, well, maybe it's time. So I've been writing scripts the whole time I've been gone. I've been writing things down, maybe not, you know, exactly a script, but, you know, having yeah. thoughts written down because sure. I always knew I would come back. So probably about three months ago is when I started looking into uh, different software and uh, mic and everything like that. So probably about three months ago was when I actually made steps to come back. Cool. Um, it, what goes into when you're, when you're looking for an episode, like what, I mean, you just, I mean, I just gotta thank you. You, you read, you read and watch a lot of really terrible things. And I mean, what, 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 what's the hook there that kind of, that kind of gets you in, uh, when you're like, Oh, I, I need to talk about this story. Um, it's usually something that's different about that case from what I, something that triggers a new thought that I haven't had before. Um, where I'm, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just something where it's like. Well, it, hooks, it hooks you in and then you have the creative yes, exactly. mindset of, okay, yeah. here's, here's how I can help tell this story and, 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 you know, give, give your listeners more insight into, into what happened in that particular case. Yes. Cause obviously, I mean, murder that, 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 unfortunately it happens a lot, you know, um, other yes. crimes, but, but being able to say, okay, here's, here's where this person, I mean, look, look how, look how deranged this whole backstory of this is to, to that, that kind of led up to what's happening. And then here's, here's kind of the, the facts of the case and all that. And so I think that's really cool. It's, it's, it is an artistic thing. And that's, you, you spoke to that when you were saying, well, you know, even when I wasn't recording and, and doing the shows, I was still having the creative thinking and thoughts and writing thing much, you know, like, like an artist does to say, okay, here's kind of, and then you want to tell that, tell that story to your, to your, you know, your listeners and your fans. And I think Absolutely. that's really, I think that's really cool. Yeah. And I don't want to, um, and true crime is such, you know, it's such a big uh, space. And so there's a lot of different voices. And so when I'm picking cases, I don't want to pick something that people have heard a lot about, you know, I'm not going to, Naming, if I get requests in the future, I will. But at the moment, you know, like John Benet Ramsey, O.J. Simpson, those aren't the kind of cases that I want to talk about because they've they've been talked about. I don't think I can add anything unique or any new perspective. So I try to pick <laughs> cases that I can add to, or maybe I don't see a comprehensive uh, video on. So those sorts of things. I could do a show on O.J. Simpson. You ready? Here it is. I'm <laughs> here's here's an exclusive. Ready? Oh my! Today God. we're going to talk about O.J. Simpson. He did it next week. <laughs> now, you know, now, okay. Dave, Dave, now, if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. You must acquit. Thank you, Johnny Cochran. <laughs> now, you know, it, it, what's funny, I mean, he wrote a book. So then, like, OJ writes books after this, but one of his books was called If I Did It. Mm -hmm. It's like, OJ, dude, you did it. That's how you yeah. can write the book If I Did It because you planned it. You did it. Yeah. Oh, it's, my gosh. I can't believe that he did that. And then, to publish a book, you have to go through like editors and publishers yeah. and everything. And I'm sure he has a team of PR people and nobody said, hey, man, don't do this. Or not maybe they did look. and he did not it anyway. Look. I, like, I, I don't know. We all knew he did it anyway, but that just really yeah. like. I mean, he doesn't strike me. <laughs> me mental stability no. with OJ. They don't really go. Maybe he should take a year off and come no, back with a narcissism. Yeti mic and we'll nar see. Narcissism. Maybe. Maybe. I, he I don't should. think you're a narcissist. Though. I'm pretty sure OJ Sims has got a little bit of that in there he's yeah well, um hey the glove didn't fit because you oh, know he well, took five minutes to put it on his hand well and he had other gloves yeah. on his hand when he's trying to put the glove on. <laughs> right it's like wait a minute you got already have a set of gloves. in the video you could see him like almost like trying to flex his hand to make it too big oh yeah of course it was yeah. very it was, it was very theatrical it was ridiculous yeah. and it's like it you just theatrical. you want to look at the prosecution then i'm like you're you're hinging this case on a glove fitting come on Come on. Yeah. There's enough circumstantial evidence here for most juries to go. Yeah, dude, you did it. I mean, come on. You know, he would have probably been out of prison now anyway. Had he just admitted it? Like, listen, I didn't like those two together. That's my ex-wife or whatever. And I went over there and I just stabbed him up. I just, I just stabbed him up. That's terrible. That's terrible. Yeah, I think that Moving. most of the time, like, Moving on. I just don't want to let it go. Back to Cassie. I don't know. I just, you know, well, she could I talk about it. He, he, squirrel, he did squirrel a little bit on it because, because I could tell he wanted to talk about the OJ. I could tell. No, so, well, I mean, so, but it, it, but it brings up a good point because, like you were saying, Cassie, the, the, um, you know, picking some of those, 
very pop culture ish ones. So, so when you have your, is there a, is there like a specific reference, I, I guess, whether it's through the, through just things you're thinking about or web or what, what, are, how do you, how do you find those cases? And, and is it more, you, you're reading some general cases and then the creative thought kind of comes in there or are you, is it more, I've got the creative thought, do this. Where can I search to kind of find something that, that molds into that? How does that, how does that work with in, in terms of your mind and how you like to put that together? Um, it's a little bit of both because I have I'm really interested in some of some of these things independently, and I listen to a lot of true crime. Um, mm-hmm. And I've mm-hmm. I've had to stop doing it at bedtime from what my <laughs> from, right some, you know. But right. other than that, I listen to a lot of true crime. So when I find cases that way, you know, I'll be watching YouTube or reading a book that I was already going to read. Or sometimes it's like, um, you know, I'll be writing a script and I'm like, okay, well for next week. You know, I'll think about the case I'm doing this week and then I think about, okay, what is something completely different from this case to do next week? Because I don't want to do cases back to back that are too similar. Yeah. So, you know, if I've done um, maybe a serial killer this week, maybe next week I'll do something more like uh, a heist or um, a family annihilator or something like that, where it's completely different. That way there's a different topic to talk about. It's not getting stale. So that's usually how it goes as I'm thinking what's different for next week and then i'll go through the notes that i've already taken on things that i'm interested in and then i'll pick out of the things that i've written some notes about yeah do, do you ever pick uh, stories that have a happier ending just you know, to, to break it up every <laughs> once in a while i mean i know that they're probably few and far between but yeah i mean there are definitely happy stories because people you know missing people are found all the time you know there was um actually recently um Alicia Navarro, she was a young girl who went missing and um, she had autism and she uh, apparently ref- left her house on her own accord, run away around 13 years old. And she was just found um, shortly after she turned 18. It, it, From what it looks like, allegedly, because nobody's been charged, it looks like right. she maybe ran off with an older man who did not have good intentions. And as soon as she turned 18, she revealed herself to police and was like, hey, take me off the missing persons list. I'm not missing. So but that I mean, it's a relatively happier case because she did come home and she's reunited with her mom. Yeah. So I think once I've got a few more episodes under my belt, I'm going to try to stagger in a couple cases with happier endings. Yeah. It's probably good for your mental health, too. So it's not Absolutely. always you know, right. I mean, yeah. That's... And, you know, scammers have done really well on, uh, you know, Netflix. We've got the the Tinder swindler and the mm-hmm. oh, what is her name? I think it's Anna. Some, the one who um, talks funny. I forget her name. Uh, uh I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Um, oh, I can picture her. I just can't mm, remember her name. I can't remember her name. I remember Julia Gardner played her in that movie and she did her accent perfectly. Yeah. So, but you know who I'm talking about. So yeah. those are also true crime, but there's no death. So right. that's I'm gonna try to mix some of those in as well. And, and and I and and you know, I told you that we would talk about this and you got excited too because I want to talk because I'm obsessed with this this whole thing is the Adelson family. I just can't get away. From, and so like now the mom gets arrested, mm-hmm. you know, so the, 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 the son goes to jail, like for life. Um, it, but I mean, this whole thing happened like back in what, 2014 mm-hmm. or 2012. Like that's when Dan was actually killed. And for you folks that don't, that don't know, I, as I am a Florida state fan, I don't So there's stuff back here. So all this happened in, in beautiful Tallahassee, Florida. And these people worked at Florida state university. So, um, and so Dan was a law professor there. He was married to Wendy Adelson. Um, and there was a divorce. Apparently it was pretty nasty. The family wanted Dan to move South Florida with the kids because they were all living there. And he was like, well, no, this is where I work. And, and then mysteriously he got killed. And so then it was, who did it? Was it a contract killing? And apparently it was, cause you had people coming for say, okay, yeah, yeah. They, somebody hired me and then. Um, and Wendy's brother, Charlie is now in prison, uh, for helping with this. And now it looks like maybe the mom too. Yeah. Uh, the mom had a, I think this was last week or maybe the week before, but the mom had a one way ticket out of the country and they got her at the airport, Yeah, which I, I don't know if that footage has been released, but I want to see that so bad when they got to her at the airport. I want to see that so bad, but they, uh, 
they killed him because he was winning the custody battle because yeah. uh, they wanted they offered him, I think, a million dollars or something to travel back and forth to South Florida to see his kids. Yeah. The mom seems to be the ringleader from what I understand. It looks that way. Um, and I mean, I, I'll, I'll be completely honest, like as when I first stumbled across, and I completely stumbled across this. I saw somebody on, you know, in, on the, in the witness stand and I'm like, uh, and when I saw her and I'm like, oh, she's pretty. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to stop and look at that. You know, like what is this? Yeah. Cause it said law professor. And I'm like, oh, and it says something about, you know, Florida state or Tallahassee or something. So, um, you know, so I, I started watching I'm like, oh, she's crazy. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, and she hasn't been implicated in this, at least officially yet. Yeah. But you got to think that's coming. I mean, you got to think that's coming. I mean, if there are crazier things have happened, I mean, I hope she does because there's no way she didn't know, right? Yeah. Like, she def- this was, if not her idea, she definitely encouraged it. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I mean, it, you know, I mean, all these weird jokes that happen, like, you know, uh, he's like, I bought you a new TV because that's cheaper than hiring a hitman and all yeah. this stuff. And it's like, dude, come on. You can't say that kind of shit. Come yeah. on. What's wrong with you? I uh, think these families, you know, like the Murdoch family, the families where it's like multiple different things happening. And it's like, those are so fascinating because most of the time people operate alone and they keep their dark things to themselves. But when you have a whole family communicating about it, I want to know how does that come up? That's not an organic conversation that I've ever had with my family. So how does that conversation start? Yeah. I mean, uh, you have to be a psychopath, I guess. Yeah. That does help. I think you don't, you don't feel that with (laughs) your family, right? That's Yeah. Not so much. You're right, though. Like, I mean, you're talking, yeah, this bacon is really good this morning. Hey, by the way, (laughs) we're going to. So I'm thinking about killing this dude. Uh, What do you think about that? You know, it's that that would fix all of our problems if he was just dead. But you just I mean, I mean, you're but what but what Doc said is absolutely right, because I mean, you think you had to be a little sadistic to even like those thoughts to even come in your mind. I mean, yeah, I think you have to be um, I think you probably are, just don't think of people as people anymore. It's um, like in this example would be Dan is not a person. He's not a law professor. He's not a father. He's an obstacle to me seeing my children or grandchildren right. as much as I'd like. So I have a problem. I'm going to eliminate the problem. And I, yeah, it just, I, I don't know how you get to that point. I think if you, if you match, if you if you if you link up someone who's who has some of those tendencies and then you and then they're extremely wealthy it, it, then there's like no obstacles for them at that point you know what i mean it's like i mean you might want to like you know kill your next door neighbor but you're like yeah it costs a lot of money i don't have 500 grand to pay a hitman but when you've got yeah. unlimited money like they do like the adelsons do then it's you know then it's a thing i mean like if elon musk wanted to rub me out i mean that's probably just a phone call right i mean that happened to me today. Just in case I go <laughs> yeah, missing, it's Elon Musk's fault. He has to go in hiding <laughs> in, the, in the in the he shed later. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna be up there. <laughs> no, I think. I mean, I, you know, it, again, it's it's a different it's it's a different mindset, and and I mean, we talk about things with with families, and and certainly whether it's it's ADHD or OCD or anxiety, depression. I mean, family members do share those things, and so I mean, there there could be some. On the on the evil side of that, if you will, the psychopathic tendencies, and so it's kind of in there. I mean, mm-hmm. even just just maybe genetically or whatever's happened to them, you know, through throughout the course as a family, and then they they just kind of have a a similar mindset. Sometimes also, you know, you you've always heard about the group think mentality. It's like, oh, well, yeah. we bring this up when we're all together. Oh yes, this is what we you know this is kind of what we need to do, and so you can be easily influenced that way as well. Yeah. And when so it's, you a, have, it's a scary thing. Yeah. You have those ideas like someone will have that idea and then someone else confirms. Oh, yeah. You're not crazy. That's a good idea. We should do that. Exactly. And you that feel instantly. Sort of, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I, mean, I want to say- get eventually a psychiatrist on um, on my podcast when I do a case like this, because I want a real professional to tell me like, you know, step by step on a particular case eventually. Um, like how these things happen, because I have my theories and I've read things that are from psychiatrists, but yeah. I, I would like to have one on the show eventually. Yeah, no, I think that'd be great. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be great. Um, I do, too. I think that would be really just 
I mean, it, for, from a, you have all the facts there and then letting them dissect, you know, okay, here's kind of what's, what's inside that person's mind or the people's minds as they, as they're going through all this. I think that would be excellent. I've always wanted to have one on our show just to kind of like talk to Doc and I. About we don't like, want what's wrong with us. <laughs> oh, we have AD, we have ADD, man. I know that'd be a long on. episode. That'd be, be a right. really long episode. It would be <laughs> a lot of childhood stuff. Probably I feel some, like coming probably out. Some crying, curled up in the fetal position. I, I think I so. Forgot about. That. I think so. No, the ADD so. definitely because we we can squirrel at a moment's notice. That's so true. That's, that's there's no you know that's no true. Doubt. What was one of our comments on a one of the shows we did? Someone said so many topics on one podcast i'm like yeah well that, that's, that's what we do <laughs> you probably do. don't want to listen if that's not what you want that's so it. That's it. uh uh but yeah so um uh the adelson family i'm just assuming all of them are going to jail i think the mom's going to go to jail and then i think wendy is is next i think, I think i'm she... surprised that wendy wasn't the first one charged i mean they must not have as much evidence on her as they do as her brother and her mother yeah, either that or, I mean, she is a law professor, so maybe she's smart enough to cover her tracks enough to where there is some... Because it's what you can prove. Yeah, ultimately. that's true. Because like, even, like, even the morning of that he was killed, like she basically drove by his neighborhood because she said, well, that's just the way that I go. And they're like, that's the way you go to go completely out of your way to where you're going, you know. And, you know, she saw like all the cars and like they had the road blocked off. And she goes, yeah, I just didn't really think about, you know. She said, I certainly didn't think he was murdered or anything. I'm like, come on, come on. Yeah. Well, the you crazy know? part, um, the perspective that I really want to hear more about is she had a boyfriend at the time that um, Dan was murdered. So yeah. I and he's testified in things. But I really if I could sit down and have a conversation with that man, I want to know how good he feels about dodging that bullet. If if he has, I mean, he must be scared often yeah. about what's going to happen to him because he's yeah. testified. Yeah, he was a pretty cool dude to testify to. Like, he was really honest about everything. You could just tell. He's like, he's like, yeah, you know, I really like her. She's very engaging. And he's like, but when she gets upset, she gets upset and it's pretty bad. And he he all but said she's a psychopath when she gets mad. So, yeah, um, yeah his testimony was pretty good. But uh, I don't know. They keep bringing her in to testify. And she's, I don't know, she's really good on the stand, though. She's really good. And again, she's a law professor. So, you know, she answers a lot of yes, no, and, you know, ask. I mean, I think at times she's even had like the, the you know, when, when an attorney is questioning her on the stand, she's even kind of got them flustered because she's like asking, you know, clarification, clarification questions back to them and they don't know what to say, you know? So, um, she, she apparently is, was, or is a pretty good attorney. I don't know if anyone would hire her at this point to be as her attorney, but I'm going to go with no, no. Probably yeah, I'm gonna go with no, but she's definitely setting up if something happens, the appeal, if she does end up being yeah. in trouble, because, <laughs> you, you know, asking those questions back, they, they have to make the notes and all that. And then you start looking, it's like, oh, well, this, this is, this is kind yeah. of a gray area. What happened here? So don't hang out with OJ. Don't go on a joy ride with OJ. You know, uh, honestly, and, and uh, no offense, stay, stay out of Florida. They got Casey Anthony and the Ad Adelson family. Right? So that's they've good, actually the um, got part of this is so crazy. And I don't know how I didn't mention this to you um, on <laughs> on the last time I was on. So I have a very distant family member who lives in Florida. It's like a my dad's cousin or something who yeah. I found out was arrested for uh, a murder where there were three people involved. Oh. And so. Oh, wow. Isn't oh. that insane? Yeah. But yeah, that's in Florida, too. So I just I have all sorts of feelings about Florida right now. I'm <laughs> like, that is wow, wild. And Casey Anthony that just had that Netflix special like a year ago or so. I don't know if you watched it, but it was it's. Um, yeah, it was two or three awful. parts. And yeah, that was. Yeah, that I, that story is just terrible. I mean, well, I mean, she clearly loves the attention. She's never tried to change her name. She hasn't moved out of Florida. Like no. if she would just change her name and move to Colorado and people would be like, are you Casey Anthony? She could be like, no, I just I just look like her. But she clearly loves the attention, negative or good. She loves it. And I did. I do hear that she gets, you know, harassed sometimes, which oh, I'm sure, uh, you know, I'm not going to say that I endorse that behavior, but I'm not. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> You know, if I you see know. it happening to her, I'm probably just going to keep walking. Like, you know, yeah. I, well, there are videos because she, you know, she's goes to clubs and everything all the time. She that's why she 
you know, why I think she killed her daughter was because she loves to go clubbing and partying. Yeah. And so there's a video of her just a couple years ago getting a drink thrown in her face. And I did watch oh. it a couple of times because I I enjoyed it a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> I mean, it's the it's the I least you that. deserve. Take that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and, and what Casey said was that the the dad like or like the little girl drowned in the pool, right? And the dad mm -hmm. like tried to hide it from her. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that that was that whole thing's really just weird. That whole it makes no sense. I mean, no. I although if you look back at the family history, that both the parents, especially the dad, have a history of being compulsive liars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. It just makes sense why she turned out the way she did. Um, yeah. I'm not saying it's right, but the math is mathing on that one. It makes some sense. People and their kids, like I don't, I don't understand that. Like you know, I mean, I've got, I've got three, and you know, I always look to see if there's a contract so I can like get rid of the contract and push them off somewhere else. But like, as far <laughs> as physically harming them, oh like my. I mean, that's just crazy. You know? yeah. The opinions of Dave Man, of <laughs> Dave Man, and Dave Man alone. <laughs> They're gonna see this. Just so you know, it's on the right. internet forever. That's right. Oh no, they, they they know this. I say this to them. I'm like, listen, I'm, I, I think I'm contractually obligated to you, but I'm trying to find that contract to see what the loopholes are. But no, my I mean, dad's like, been trying to get me adopted out. I'm 25. He's right? still trying. Yeah, I mean, let's just you know, people what people that I work with, they say, you know, oh, you know, we'd like to have, uh, you know, whatever. And I'm like, I, I got a three year old. I, I can bring him over. You know, it's like it's like here's the deal. I'll make you. I'll pay for him. You just keep him, okay? <laughs> it's like, you know, but uh, no one's taken me up on it yet. Not yet. No, no. Not. We call him Nugget. <laughs> Nugget's the little one. That's uh, so cute. I love that nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's Nugget. Um, and if you ever met him, he's he's not as sweet as a Nugget. Uh, but uh, that's his name, though. We call him Nugget. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, the the back to the Adelson family, I, I just, and again, I don't know what the, I know, so the mom is probably going to jail, but the dad, I don't think he's involved at all. He hasn't been implicated at all yet, right? So like he, it's almost yeah. like he had n nothing to do with this whatsoever. I mean, I think if you, because the mother it, from Donna is very manipulative and, you know, she has some narcissistic tendencies. I don't want to diagnose her with anything because, you know, I, I don't know anything about that. But, you know, it makes sense that she would be married to someone who is just very compliant and maybe, you know, just says, you know, I'm staying out of it. You do what you want to do. I'm just here and I'll do whatever you want. So maybe Here's if he money. wasn't, yeah. So yeah. maybe if he wasn't necessary in this plan, you know, yeah. he didn't know about it and he was just like, okay, you do whatever you're going to do and I'm going to stay over here. I just, I, I just can't imagine if I was a patient, if I lived in South Florida <laughs> and I was a, a, a patient and my dentist was, you know, one of the Adelsons, they'd be like, uh, <laughs> You know, it's like, you know, the minute they say, well, we're going to have to like, you know, uh, you know, going to have to give you some uh, some medicine here to kind of calm you down or whatever. It's like, no, I don't want to go to sleep. I don't know what you guys <laughs> are going to do. I don't know what's going to happen. I just can't imagine. I mean, like you got to like because Charlie was an oral surgeon, I think. And I, I mean, so. his, and his practice was just destroyed after that. So yeah. um, and well, now he can do oral surgery in prison. Yeah. Well, forever. it's crazy when you think about these highly educated people who yeah. haven't rationally thought about, OK, if I do this, there's a chance that a high chance that I'm going to get caught and ruin my whole life. Yeah. They haven't logically thought this out, but they're very educated. They're not stupid people. No. So how have they not thought about this? Even if you had a desire to kill someone, yeah. which is a whole different issue. Right. How do you not logically talk yourself out of it because of just the chances that you're going right. to get caught? Yeah. It's I always say the same thing when people rob banks. It's like 97% of the people that rob banks get caught <laughs> within the first hour. It's like, you're not going to get away with this. Why? Like what brought you to that point? So I don't, yeah, I don't understand what goes through someone's mind. Uh, I mean, again, like, well, like you said, I mean, some of these people are very, you know, very educated people with PhDs even, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta watch these doctors. I'm just saying. Um, I'm telling you. Right. And I think it's because you, when you go through that, there's, I mean, there's a lot of information that you have to learn for whatever you know program or um, curriculum that you're doing. And, and they, I mean, it's, it's not easy. So you you, you do take some pride in, in being able to achieve that. 
And so you, you get this false sense of security. Like maybe I don't have this cause I'm not a psychopath, but you, you, you think you're smarter sure. than everybody else in the room, yeah. which is not the truth. That's a, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty arrogant thing, but you think you can pull it off because, Oh, well I am that smart. But then also a lot of people that have higher level of intelligence, they do have some, whether it's social interaction yeah. Or whether it's, it's inhibitory thing. They, they are, you know, you're, it's, it's like the genius comes with, um, some, some unstable tendencies. I mean, you remember the movie long ago, this was show my age, but a beautiful mind about, about the mathematician Nash. I mean, mm -hmm. he was, he, you know, I think he, I can't remember if he was schizophrenic or bipolar or whatever it was, but he you was know, schizophrenic. Yeah, that's yeah, what it was. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. It was, yeah. It says shows you my memories waning, but you know, so, so, but that genius level, but, but couldn't, and it, it, you know his 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 mind was beautiful yet he you know it not not quite configured correctly and so yeah. he he had those things going on at the same time same thing if you're a narcissist I mean, if you're a narcissist boy you you'd never do any wrong you're the best of the best you're you, above it all it's right? it's always yeah. somebody else's fault you know and so i think I do think, I think, I think some of these, it's, it's almost like the, the blessing and the curse. You, you have the, the higher level of that intelligence, but it does, it's like your brain's just not quite configured. Right. And, and that allows you to, to have these, these breaks. And so that's, they don't have those inhibitory factors like, like we do. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, I, you know, I always think it's somebody else's fault too. I wonder why. Well, there you go. We are for it our, is, our, our Florida State <laughs> Niners fan. It's everybody's fault. It's, it's not it. mine. It's it. So, what's next for you, Cassie? What's what's your next? What's your next upcoming podcast? What what's the what 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 are we doing next? Just kind of preview everybody. Let's see. Well, uh, in the big picture, I just put out my first video version yesterday. It's nice. um it's a little glitchy, so be be nice to me. It was <laughs> I recorded it and it was glitchy, and I tried my best. So next week I'm gonna try something else, but. Uh, put out a video version. So that's new in the big picture. But next week, um, my dad wants me to cover Dr. Kevorkian. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. That's something that he's very interested in. And I think I also have a lot of opinions. Uh, I'm I'm just an opinionated person. So any topic okay. I can throw an opinion out there. But my dad wants me to do that. I'm very interested in the Lindbergh baby. Have you heard of that? Yeah. yeah. This is This I, is, I mean, from years and years and years and years ago. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think in uh, I would have to look it up because I haven't fully researched it yet. I would have to polish things up. But I think it was in the 1920s. The yeah. um, uh, Charles Lindbergh, he's a very famous aviator. His baby went missing from the house. And unfortunately, I think um, like 100 days later, uh, they found the baby dead and it's never been discovered who did it. Right. And a lot of people think that maybe Charles Lindbergh or maybe um, someone who worked for the family. And I just I like the mystery of it. Mm -hmm. um, because I want to know who. Oh, we lost our mic. Uh oh, that's okay. Uh oh, technical difficulties galore. It got muted. There it is. There she is. There She's it is. Back. You're back. Is it back on the? No, actually. So that mic's not. So you're. It's a mic from either a camera or your laptop. That microphone's not working. Okay. This is one of those days, man. I mean, like it's me. I'm telling you, it's my. No, it's, it's, it's my bad juju. <laughs> Not a bit. Promise, promise. I was sitting cross-legged, and I just. There you I go. Did, that's better. Yeah, that's way perfect. Better. That's perfect. Cross applesauce, and I've got. I really <laughs> some wire, uh, like I need to get some bread ties or something to tie all these wires out of my way. Yeah. So, Got a million wires just all around yeah, here. We we do too. Yeah, they're they're yeah. everywhere in here. That's why he puts me in the corner so nothing gets wiped out. I mean, that's, that's I don't really the truth. Touch it He's like, just stay over there and don't move. Don't <laughs> don't even lean closer to the sign. Don't don't. Touch I wish anything. someone would tell me to stay in the corner and mess with all these wires <laughs> instead of me. Right. I mean, that's the that's the goal, right? We want these podcasts to get so big that we have producers and like. I just want to come in and someone hand me like coffee you know, and just like sit me in my seat and get me all fit. And, you know, I just want to talk. Yeah. That's all I want to I, do. I would do everything if I could just get someone else to edit so that I don't have to hear my own voice for hours <laughs> while I figure everything out. There's nothing more humbling than 
uh, hearing your own voice for hours. And then now that I'm doing the video version, I realize how much I talk with my hands or mess oh. with my hair. Oh yeah. No, it's, it's, yeah. Oh my God. You got it's like, like it, it is a learned thing to like try to keep my hands down, right? Like down here, yeah. because I do the same thing. And, you know, for years of doing radio, as I'm talking with my hands now, um, <laughs> from years of, uh, you know, doing radio and like doing, you know, editing, cause you know, I work for small stations. So you did your own editing, right? So mm -hmm. I would do commercials and like, I would re-record, re-record, re-record. I'm like, this is terrible. And then we play it for the client. And they're like, Oh, I love it. It's great. And I'm like, no, it's, it's awful. And they're like, no, yeah. it's great. And I'm like, okay. So you just have to kind of like, you know, learn to learn to live with it. But no, I get that. When you hear your own voice at any time, it's like, I don't like the way that sounds. Right, it doesn't but. sound right. It's like that's not what I sound like. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah, There's still that's some. Not what I sound like in my head at all. That's I sound right. way that's better right. up here. So. Exactly right. There's right. Some, there's still exactly. some commercials in the state of Virginia. If you drive through, particularly this time of year, I'm still there. Like nice. there's still some old that's commercials so cool, about, right? but yeah. no royalties for you. No shit, no. Come on, <laughs> I barely got paid then. Are you kidding me? <laughs> They're getting their you'll, money's worth out of you. It's like, that's, you'll, that's right. You'll get a free hot dog, Dave, and that's it. <sighs> Nothing for you. Um, now, I think it's this time of year is when I did the the commercial where I had to say, I know we're Santa shops. And I hate that shit. And I've heard it so <laughs> many times. It's so stupid. We're just Santa shop. At uh, at this little at this little hardware store, right? Because yeah, cause don't drop names. Wants. They're not paying anymore. No right. names. No. That's right. No, no. <laughs> I actually no more can't remember. It. It's like R and J Hardware or the shit. I forget now. But that's okay. you know, I said. Okay. I know where Santa shops, and he, <laughs> and he does. Santa he's shop. Still, there? He's still shopping there. Why Every does Santa work? have to shop at all? I thought that was the whole thing. Is he has the workshop? Well, he's got the elves. The elves. I, How I does think... he work around the trademark for Xbox and things? You know, legal, does he have contracts? I want to know. I think I I, like I, th I secretly I like think OJ ball. is working for Santa. Oh my God. That's where I think I think OJ is in the North Pole and he's working for Santa. And that's how Santa gets around some of this stuff because you got to hire a criminal to do criminal activity. So you know. That makes sense. I mean, he does commit a lot of breaking and entering in the month of December. So he he's not a he thinks he's above the law. No, you know? he does. He's a narcissist. Santa is a narcissist. Why oh, else? Oh, would there's he no doubt. Everywhere. <laughs> right. <laughs> And if you yeah. rearrange, I'm just saying here, just throwing this at this is, hey, this is the genius thought of the day. If you take Santa and you rearrange the letters a little bit, it is Satan. I'm just saying, I'm oh, just throwing that out there. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> My God. niece will never watch this podcast. I won't right, that's it for her. <laughs> What's your niece's name? Uh, Addie. Addie, I'm very, I'm just joking, Addie. Right. Santa is a wonderful person. Look past the red suit. Look I, past the reorganization. I'm like, only upset because I've been asking hearing. for Super Bowl tickets since I was 15 years old, and I haven't gotten them yet. So Santa and I are on, on kind of a thing. We got a thing, okay? But <laughs> but that's not. He likes you. So 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 no. So yes. <laughs> you also have to behave, Thank you Addie. For the Re remember that you have to behave. That's Addie. true too. That Dave, yeah. Dave Man does not no, no, does not really behave. That's true. Oh, so that's therefore, true. do y'all do the elf on the shelf at your houses? Oh yes, oh yes. Jane How Wolf, are your, your elves Wolf. do well? Um, do they do well? Uh, they yeah. So they, are they, they, are so, they behaved? Um, you know, Jingles is pretty good. We also have Shep the Shepherd um also so shep shep is the it's, it's part of the christmas story because we we had the shepherd first kind of you know what? to to shep the, shep the shepherd are you talking about like the the manger scene there's a shepherd and no you're... no it's actually okay. a, it, it's it's actually a shepherd uh, like the elf at I didn't name it. Is dude. he hurting shit? Now, Callan, Callan, I'm so confused. My, my oldest, my oldest will come and kick your ass, Dave. Um, she will. She no, is, I'm she scared is, of her. I am legitimately strong. scared of her. My seven year old is strong and mighty. There is no she doubt. She is tiny, and but she, and terrifying. she has the she has the will to get it done. Um, yes, yes. We're worried about her as she continues to get older. Um, but it's okay. <laughs> um no no there's this thing it's it, it's like the christmas something and it's it's a shepherd just yeah. like the elf same same kind of general relative size um and it 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 you know he appears at the the beginning of december leading sure. up to christmas He's, yeah because because you know of course in in the in the bible the the shepherds actually discovered jesus first and then the wise men other people came so it, it kind of takes you through the the christmas story from from, from that perspective i see as okay. him as him being one of those um and so the the point being is is you you look for him and see where he's at and then and then on you know christmas day 
you know, he he's he's gone to see Jesus. So he's okay. I got it. And there's there's a book there's a book there's a book there's a book so there's a little it, it's a it's a you know kid kid level book that that I haven't read recently. Um, Laura reads it to the girls. Um, that that kind of goes through all that. So yeah, so we have Jingles the Elf and then Shep the Shepherd. They're both in our tree right now. They appeared yesterday. You know, with some PJs for Christmas. And, sure. Sure. Um, the girls got some Legos to to play with today. Callan got a fun Christmas wintry scene. My uh, middle child Kate um got uh got marvel infinity uh or, or uh, uh sorry spider verse with spider-man and iron man um and of course bennett didn't get anything because he'll eat the little pieces of course and, and that's not, me too i eat the little pieces right? they, they're, they're just Nutritious. a little crunchy they're just a little crunchy just a little crunchy. It's, it's fine yeah. um you know so, so yes, he, he, that's right he didn't get that <laughs> he didn't get any but but he he was really wanting to play with it but yeah so so they get little things so our, yeah it's a big deal our elf uh uh retired this year no uh, yeah oh. he did he's he's um he's up there working with oj working actually on the toys actually <laughs> actually he was arrested it's a sad no um was uh, there a bronco did he was there a right. chase yeah, there was a it was crazy a, little, chase a, a little miniature bronco it. and it was a long chase around the cul-de-sac <laughs> and we finally were able yeah. to track him down no he retired I just see all year. these elves doing the weirdest things like people will uh or, i'm sorry the elves will position themselves in the weirdest ways. yes yes right yeah, like uh, like magically, you all of a sudden have a jar of marshmallows that you didn't have before because of course nobody puts marshmallows in a jar, nobody puts baby in a quarter, and nobody puts marshmallows in a jar. But but magically, when you have an elf, th these things just kind of happen. Um, of course, so, yeah. and 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 you know the, the elf's hands are only they're only like this big, right? And, and but, they don't but he have can, fingers. But he can write. Sometimes, yeah, and they don't have fingers or opposing yeah. thumbs, and they can. They write don't need on fingers. They're magic. So. Jingles is very well behaved. And I think it's because of Shep. Oh, oh, Shep. I think I think Shep kind of holds holds Shep's, holds holds her in. Yeah, jacking around when no, Shep, Shep's Shep, around. I, I got mean, you. Know, his, he's got the staff, so I mean he could hook. That's true. And whack. Yeah. You know, so I think. You know. yeah. Yeah, they 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 you know they might hang upside down or get a little crazy. You can't get past the name, can you? No, I can't. I cannot. <laughs> I can't get past the ship. I, I know you said it wasn't the same like little figurine from the manger thing, but I, that's what I'm picturing as a little like ceramic. Shepherd. No, no, no. It's it is it is same. You know the the stuffing material. Oh, um, okay. He's, he's you know. He, they should start selling that in a two pack since it keeps the elf in line. <laughs> Right, right. You would have write that they, down. Write that you down. You would have thought yeah. that that could have been that could have been marketed that way. I know, but it's but it's you can buy it, you can buy it in the podcast. link below. Just kidding, Shep. Um, just remember, yeah. Shep the Shepherd. Yeah. Um. So speaking of that, so I mean, go, go, I don't know how you segue <laughs> there, but that's a good job. No, thank you. Um. But so speaking of that, and like you know, as we talk merch and that kind of stuff, I mean, any any anything new coming from uh from Eastern Crime Zone? Like a knife or something you can use in your kitchen <laughs> with some fake blood on it or something. <laughs> no, not not quite that far. I'm looking at maybe some sweatshirts and things like that. Um, cool. Just if like if it. nobody if nobody buys it, I will wear it, and um, that's enough for me. So, but I am looking at designing some things on Bonfire, um, trying to get that once. But I'm focusing on the quality of the content first and getting sure. that out there. So, Dave, but, will, Dave will do a voiceover. I know where Santa shops. I the, will. Yeah, the, no, e hey. the ECZ store. No, if you need yeah, like a, if you if you need a lead in or something for the podcast, let me know. Happy to do it. I've done that for other friends too. So, actually, I yeah, I might have to talk to you about that. Yeah. That sounds good. So, I'll use the term "stab them up." Uh, of course, of course. That's, <laughs> and you can have that. Not light them up, but stab no, no, no. Them up. You okay. can you can have that. That's not trademark. So that's okay. I, yeah, I, I feel officially like release this. <laughs> To I don't know away. how well that would do. Um, <laughs> for I like it. I like it. You know, because well, you could be all serious, I... right? You could be all serious and then just throw yeah. that in there. Like, you know, and then he entered the room and the next thing I know, he stabbed him up. Yeah, you and know, I could just crazy. have that oh clip my. of you saying stabbed him up and there I could just be in my script and I'll just press a button and I don't, you know, I'll be. Like, I, I love it. I absolutely perfect. love it. Yeah. Yeah, so we can stab. He doesn't up. need any royalties off of that. He's no, I don't. No, it's fine. No. Share a lot. I yeah, I give everything away, so it's fine. <laughs> That's it. It's fine. That's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's perfect. It's fine. 
Cassie, I appreciate you being on the show today. Thank you so much, Cassie. It's great to yeah, see you. Um, um, sorry we couldn't get the the three person thing, but like I said, I'm in yeah. the corner, not the messing corner. up any electronics over here, and nobody wants to see that anyway. So we're good. Yeah, but thank, thank you so thank much for having we're, me on again. I really appreciate it. And we, well, absolutely, and, no, and we're and we're we'll, glad you're doing well. Yeah, too. absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And we'd be ha- we'll be happy. We would be happy to you know <laughs> to be on it. Plus tax. I, we'd be happy to uh, to be on uh, one of your episodes too. Yeah, be coming up, that'd be fun. That was we, fun. We, yeah. had, yeah. we had a fun. I, I, the next thing. Yeah, I didn't but, want to be presumptuous, but I was going to ask. Oh, and this yeah. time, I promise I will record from my <laughs> end the whole time. So, uh, if if your listeners don't know, when you came on my episode, we covered the I five killer. Yeah, and that's right. By the way, I was recording in my closet at the time, so it wasn't even like a walk-in closet. It was like a regular closet with clothes yeah. hanging around me for, for the sound. I love um, it. It's, perfect, it's the perfect place to record. Yeah, of yeah. course. Uh, mm-hmm. If you if you're on a low budget, it really is. But uh, I was in a closet, hunched over, doing this episode, and in the midst of all that, did not press record <laughs> properly. So you had really good audio of them <laughs> and almost no audio of the story i had to amp that up it was terrible yeah so but this time we'll, we'll get it right and yeah no that's if y'all have some time coming up uh we can oh, we can definitely, we can definitely make that work. we'll make it yeah we'll make it work awesome. and we would love and it perfect. just as long as i get to use stab them up <laughs> that's my own that's the only <laughs> the only qualifier let me give me Give me 20 minutes. I will find a perfect case and you can say stab him up. I, I love I, it. I there love it is. It's like, so, so he perfect. just walked in there and he stabbed him up. Um, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a legal term. I think I want to be on the witness stand. I, I, I want to be called to the witness stand sometimes. I've never stabbed them up I, and just say anything. I don't oh, know. Just say any, like yeah, a character you think witness you really or do something. That. I want to like break down on the witness really stand and that. cry and like fall on the floor. And like, I want to do a whole thing and like, no one lets me like, I just want to do it. It's like you know, that's why. It's and probably no. You, you should, like, you know, if you're not in Florida, you should go down to Florida. You'll encounter that's true. The, Adel- that's true. the Adelson family or Adelson family, and yeah. we can we can get you on the next trial. So yeah, I'll go. I'll just go like make friends with Wendy, <laughs> oh, and then no. she'll try to kill me or something will happen. Oh, so no. you know, no, you, she won't. Just she'll get her family to do it. She'll so. get somebody else to take. Care well, of she's it. running out of family have... members. Shit, they're all in jail. All right, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. This is awful. Yeah, no, that's right. But, you know, you got to laugh at how absurd it is because it's it not is. a funny topic, but just the absurdity it's, of it yeah. is why it's so funny. So, yeah. but yeah, of course, I, I would love to have you all on in the upcoming, you know, whenever your schedules, awesome. but we'll, we'll text about it or email. Yeah. Yeah. About it and, yeah. And yeah it just, up, but. yeah. Just let me know. We'll be happy to, we'll be happy to do it. And we'll try to make sure that we can see doc the next. Time. <laughs> right. Right. I know. We'll work on of that. Course, of course. <laughs> we'll do all right. Best. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cassie. Right. Everybody, uh, Cassie Millet, Eastern Crime Zone. Uh, we'll have a link to her podcast uh, in our description as well. Thanks once again for being on the show. All right. Thank you. Bye. Cool. Bye. All right. Uh, thanks uh, once again to Cassie Malay, Eastern Crime Zone. Thank you so much. Love Cassie. talking to Cassie. It, um, it, uh, you know, great. Just great time. Again. Her and the Tay Tay tattoos. I love it. The Tay Tay. How about that, man? Yeah, I know. It's, it's really cool what the things you learn about people. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and, uh, and and obviously you know she, she's 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 you know she's doing good things. Good good for her. She took some time off to like kind of get herself recalibrated a little bit. She and, got some good life skills. I mean, she built yeah, her whole set. She I mean, built how her awesome set. Was that shit. I mean, I just go to the Home Depot, <laughs> right? And that's all I do. Um, uh, and I didn't ask her about FBI True. I meant to. Uh, we got talking. To, we were talking about the Adelsons, and I kind of you know because you were obsessed. Here's the thing. Man. I have some concerns, um, <laughs> legitimately, because it is like an obsession. It is. No, I um, I, I love me some Adelsons. I mean, I think uh, Wendy Adelson's just hot. That's I mean, just, she's crazy. No, see, we've talked about this, man. You can't. <laughs> no, crazy poon. You don't want to get involved with that. I always it is, wear these it, undershirts, like these Under it's Armour okay. undershirts. Okay. And the, look at look at the collar of this one. Look well, at it's this. Okay. Well, it's okay. It's all jacked it's okay. up. I have squirrel, newer ones. Squirrel. It is, but like it's like my sports. Hey, you know brush. we're talking about my merch. Brush. We're talking about merch. <laughs> you know, I'm the just Dave and Doc Pocket. Yeah, we got it. So yeah, and that was something that somebody kicked over to me at some point. Was like, hey, we'd like to, you know, some shirts and stuff. So we should probably like uh, do something with people. Got to get some going. Where they, so, can, they can pick up. I'll, 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 I'll uh, we'll do uh, some hats. Hats, hmm? hats for bats. Condoms. <laughs> That'd be good. Right. Like they, they will get loving you was re- eh, 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 re- depending, eh, depending eh, on how large they are, they won't be able to see the whole logo, eh, 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 <laughs> right? Like doing it. So like, 
<laughs> if you can see the whole logo, you got a man. You're a moose. <laughs> He's strong like bull. Damon right? Dog Condon. Right. Yeah, that's it. Because that's holy it. shit, don't <laughs> knock her up. <laughs> I want to do the commercial for that, right? You could, I mean, you got it. It's like a Twinkle and Stink on uh, ESPN uh, uh, <laughs> uh, on Saturday Night Live, right? Where they do the, the Vagisil Bowling Championships and shit. <laughs> Going downhill fast. Speaking of that, <laughs> college football, ESPN. Yeah, thanks again, Cassie. I all the it. things. Yes, um, yes, Cassie, you're awesome. And we look forward to doing um, the crossover show with you again. Yeah. Um, um, Can't believe she still talks to us. What, I the, love hell's, it. what the hell's wrong with her? Yeah, she's a good human, man. That's she why. Is. Oh, she, I, like she t- I think she takes a little pity on us, which is cool. Which is good. We, we need. We need. I don't. We need something. We need some pity. Right. Zip. Uh, but, but man, college football, big game last night. Dad gum stinking Washington wins. I thought Oregon get him. Oregon didn't look good, but. That you know, that's one controversy averted mm-hmm. because we're getting down to it, and and that was one of the things I wanted to talk about was was what happens. Can I if, tell you what's going to happen if everybody loses? That's that's so like if Michigan loses, if um uh that that team down there in Tallahassee loses, they may be on their third string quarterback. We don't know, and then if Georgia loses, what what the heck happens? So can, can can I tell you what's going to happen? I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. Georgia. This, is, this gonna, is a Dave Man prediction. Yes, Georgia is going to lose to Alabama. Okay, and I agree with you. I just I think it's going to happen. I just think Nick Saban is like that. That team's gotten a lot better over the year too. Right, and I just think that I I think that's a team that can match up really well. And after what happened in the Iron Bowl, it just. It's yeah. like there's a little bit of destiny there because you've always got to have a little bit of that fortune that just goes your way. Yeah. It's just the way it is. So I think that Georgia gets beat, right? I think you're right. I think Michigan beats Iowa because Iowa can't. And, and I feel, I, I, right, I, and we, yeah, I agree. I, I think Michigan gets enough points. I, so, I do. So what's going to happen is you're going to have probably Washington number one or Michigan, right? One of those two. I think you have. One, I think two. if Michigan wins, I, th- I think Michigan. I think you have to make Michigan number one, Washington number two, and then I think Georgia ends up third, and Bama ends up fourth. Ooh. And I don't think it matters what happens to the team. So you think if FSU wins, if Florida State wins by forty, I don't think it matters if that happens. See, I just don't. I don't, and I and I get it. And we've talked about you know kind of the sexiness there with Jordan Travis not being there. But if FSU is undefeated, wins their conference championship, yeah. You're saying that Bama's still going to jump them if Bama beats Georgia. If Bama beats Georgia, no, no, I mean right. If Bama yeah. loses, oh it, yeah, we're not. You know, they've got two losses. Same right. thing with Oregon; they're out. Ohio State is out. Yeah, I'm gonna be really. That's gonna make me the maddest. Is if some funky scenario happens, yeah, there's and be, Ohio State gets in there. Yeah. That's complete garbage. There is no way they should get in there. New Year's Six Bowl, that's fine, but they should not be in there. Now, what happens if Texas wins? Bama wins. What do you What do you do there? I still think it's Bama, I, I, Georgia, Michigan, Washington. I, I agree. If Bama wins, I think Bama's. I mean, in Washington's it, I think that's in, the, no matter what. Right. At this no, point, no. Washington's in. I was really hoping they would lose though, because you that really kind of set the stage for just all kinds of craziness to break yeah. loose. But no, they're they're undefeated. They won the Pac-12. I mean, that's they beat a good Oregon football team yeah. twice. So so they're they're in they're in yeah um which kind of stinks because I think I, I think they're going to end up going up against whoever and somebody's going to whoop that ass that's what I think is going to happen yeah I I, you exactly know I, I think I, you know it's like the last time when they played Bama in the playoff and they couldn't even score you know um so yeah so Washington's in I don't think Michigan's going to get beat no I don't think so either I really don't now what if they do get beat what if they get beat Georgia gets beat and FSU gets beat. Uh, well, listen, if FSU gets beat... FSU's I mean, out. I hate FSU, to say that. Oh, which no, I don't, I, I, they'll I, drop to like ninth in the country. Right, they, they'll... yeah. It just won't... I mean... Right. Because here, here's here's the truth of this, folks. Let me just be <laughs> real honest. That, that effing committee and that dipshit Paul Feinbaum all have an erection the size of Mount Rushmore for the SEC. It's uh, it's almost like Chris Collinsworth. Do you and know Pat, why Patrick though? Mahomes. Do you know why though? Because it just means more. Apparently, SEC. Apparently, SEC. <clears throat> it. I mean, let's listen. see. How, we won what six out of nine championships. Lost to Clemson twice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, 
And then the other time, I guess, yeah. What's yeah. funny is people completely forget about like a decade and a half where it was Miami, Florida, Florida State, or Notre Dame. I know it's it is it's, it's what have you for done for like fifteen or twenty years? It, that was it. it. It's like, like nobody it's like, was talking you, about what Bama have you done. And, what yeah. have you done for me lately? I know, bunch of assholes. I mean, it, it, Paul Feinbaum. My God, of course they, he had Alabama uh, written off earlier in the year yeah, after they lost to if Texas. If you're a friend of Paul Feinbaum, if you know him personally, I want you to listen to me right That's now. Easy. Okay, I want you to listen That's to me. Easy. If you're a friend That's of Paul easy. Feinbaum, he needs to get laid. That dude, something's going on with him, and he needs to get laid. And and maybe he needs to get laid by another guy. I don't know. Maybe he needs to get laid by a sheep. Maybe he needs to get. I mean, maybe he needs like a, an old, you know, an old goat herder or something. Or maybe he's married. You're maybe he needs with the shep the shepherd theme. He, it is a shep the shepherd. He needs to get laid because that guy, currently his erection. <laughs> You're saying it's messing up his thought process. It is. His erection is taking blood flow away from him, and I'm sure it's a small erection. I'm sure there's not anything going on down there. But it's enough to take the blood flow away that he just can't see a scenario. Yes, he can't see a scenario yes, in the world yes, that Florida State deserves yes, to play in the college football play. He just can't see it. He doesn't understand. He just <laughs> he just can't see it. And I think the reason he can't see is because his eyesight's not working correctly. And he's just got such a hard on for the SEC. We well, you know if you, if you play with it too much yourself, you go blind. That's true. So shake it once, shake it twice, shake, shake it, it three thrice. times. <laughs> if you're playing with yourself, hey, Paul Feinbaum, dude, just shut the hell up. Fine, uh, it, gonna, it, be gonna be interesting. Gonna be interesting. I hate that guy almost as much as I hate I, ESPN. I, 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 I hate really, ESPN for hiring him. I hadn't really noticed. How you felt about that? There was there was some right discussion. I was like, it's kind of still up in the air how he really feels. I'd love to have him on the show. I was like, dude, what's your qualification for? Like, what? I mean, you're just guessing at this shit. You don't know anything more than anybody else. You're reading an f and teleprompter. Somebody's coming in, bringing you coffee in the morning, massaging your shoulders before you do that stupid show you've done. And just because you, you shit on everybody else in college football and just think the SEC has got the biggest dicks in the world, well, we do. You, you've become what we you've do. Become like th th this but god. We do. Oh, god. You know what made his career though? The ESPN thirty for thirty Roll Tide War Eagle. That was a good one because that was the first time where you really said there are those who watch the Paul Feinbaum show and those who act like they don't watch the Paul Feinbaum mm -hmm. show in the state of Alabama. And after that, all of a sudden, here comes Paul Feinbaum starting to pop up on different things. But that Roll Tide War Eagle was the first time you know in what? terms of a national exposure that he got. And then SEC Network was forming around that, and he sure. got in with them, and then that elevated him to where he's you're, at. You're missing the other thing that got, rose him to stardom, though. <laughs> What's that? You're missing it. Uh, it's when he sold his soul to the devil. Well, he did do that. So did, so did Pat McAfee, though. He did. ESPN. My God. So I, I'm I, here's what I'm thinking is going to happen, okay? I'm calm now. I appreciate you. <laughs> I think Bama wins. I really, I, I hate to say this. <sighs> Bama wins. Yep. I, I, I just don't think you can kick Georgia out of the playoff. No. So, so I think Georgia's in no matter what happens. Yes. And I mean, they're the two-time defending champion. They, they, and they're they have, they have quality, they're and they beat some quality teams. Yeah. You know, they, they have. But if FSU wins. <sighs> Yeah, I think FSU still makes it in. Yeah, I I, 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 I just don't think you can do it. I mean, I just don't think, and I get it. There, do do people want to see FSU without Jordan Travis? No, they don't. I mean, no. let's just let's just be honest. No. They nobody wants to see that. But you still have an undefeated team who won their conference championship. You know, you you should not jump Alabama in there. Um. I just don't. I just don't think it should happen. But could it happen? Yeah, hundred percent. But I don't. I don't think so. I, but they have to be undefeated. If they lose, oh, they're done. There is. There's going to be no more discussion, and they are. They are out the door. They are a New Year's Six bowl game for sure. Right. But right. Yeah. You know. I mean, they're still going to get a great bowl game. I mean, it's going to be. It's going to be super. You know. But but again. Of course, I mean, it's not a gimme for them. I mean, they got to play Louisville. Louisville, you know, got upset by Kentucky last week. 
It's going to be they're a probably, rainy they're day probably in Charlotte, pissed. too. It's, it's nasty. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, and, and we don't even know if, if, if Rodemaker can even play. They're I, think gonna, Florida, gonna be, I, I think our defense is better than Louisville's though. I, would I don't agree really with think that. it's a question. So I, I think that your that's, defense that's won the, the game for you last week. Yeah. I mean, let's just, they yeah. just said, we're not going to lose. Yeah. You know, kind of like the week before when Travis got hurt, the defense was like, we're not going to lose the game. We're going to, we're still going to win. This is the way it's going to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know, but but yeah, if y'all lose, it's and, and I'm not saying that's right because it's it's you're but you're back into that. Okay, somebody else won the SEC championship, so you yeah. know the the way I would love for it to go. Honestly, um, I, I would I would love for Georgia to lose because I never root for Georgia. <laughs> um, Bama win, Florida State win, Michigan win. Georgia drops out, Bama takes their place, and Florida State still gets in there. So it'd be Michigan, Washington, Florida State, and Bama. Assuming Texas doesn't win. I still think you've got a controversy if Texas wins and Bama wins and somebody else loses in that. Obviously, Georgia loses in that mix. You know, what do you do? But but I don't think the committee, I don't think they're going to punish Georgia no. for losing that game. <clears throat> so maybe Jordan Travis should do ayahuasca. Right. He might be able to play. Yeah, I still has you know we're gonna we're gonna squirrel on it for a minute. I I don't know what happened to his Achilles tendon, but that is not the devastating Achilles tendon no. injury that typically happens. Because I I don't I don't care who you are, um, a forty year old man with a torn Achilles tendon is uh, uh, like the full thickness tear, mm-hmm. everything's screwed up. I don't see how that's that you know he's not. I, I realize he's a professional athlete. I realize he has access to all kinds of treatments. But you know what? There's some pretty daggum good people out there that were professional athletes that had just the same stuff, and they can't come back in 11 weeks from a full thickness Achilles tendon. That's a pretty so, devastating injury. So I don't know what he did, but I, I don't know. I, I'm not buying that all the way that 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 he's back, cleared for practice 11 weeks later. Yeah. I'm just not buying it. Yeah. I, so, so I, I think you have to have some, it reattached, right? Like they have yeah, to do repair. They have and to anchor that some bitch back in. They yeah. Have, yeah, I mean they they pull it back, stretch it out, and and anchor it together. Well, that has to heal. You know, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know what, and we'll never know the truth of what no. happened. But that that is not <laughs> that traditional full no. thickness Achilles tendon rupture that we are used to hearing about. Yeah. There's no way that that's that's just not possible for somebody to come back that quick. Yeah. Either that, or maybe they're just playing it up. And okay, he practiced, but I mean, he can't push off of his foot. Yeah. Well, you can stand there and throw a pass, but it's a whole lot different if you've got you know some big ass NFL lineman breaking through the line to come kill you. I mean, you yeah. can't because you can't get away from that. Right. Speaking of big ass NFL linemen. <laughs> And there's a few of them. There's a few, and they're strong. The game of the weekend for me, and I know my I know my Knowles are playing tonight, and I'm I'm excited about that. But the game of the weekend for me are the San Francisco 49ers dun, 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 dun. and those asshole Eagles. Um, it's gonna be a good game. Yeah, and Go the Niners go into that game, game favored by three points. That's it's inter- in Philly, and Philly's ten and one. That is interesting, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. That is interesting. Like, I, I, why would that be? Like, why would they be favored other other than Vegas just saying, "Yeah, let's throw a wrench into this." Well, but you know, <clears throat> I mean, when when San Francisco's playing like San Francisco, yeah, I mean, I don't. I, they just they had they had some bad beats. I mean, they shouldn't have three losses. They should not. No, they shouldn't. So I think I think that's the other thing is when you look at that, and of course the analytics are so huge now. When you look at that, it's they like, could well, be coming into this undefeated, right? It's like they should probably be undefeated. They just no. had some bad bad situational stuff happen, but they should probably be undefeated. I think that's where Vegas looks at. And so if you look analytics on this, yeah. they actually should win the game. Nick Wright on that whatever show he's on that show that nobody watches. Um, <laughs> I mean, nobody watches that show. I don't. I mean, I don't know how they get paid. Nobody watches that shit. He's just an idiot. Um, him and his stupid long hair. It's like, dude, you're not. You're not fooling anybody. Yeah, I know. That's you just look stupid. I don't, I don't get um, it. He was talking about. He, he he's saying the Eagles are going to win because of Shanahan's system, and he went on to explain what he meant. Now I want you to listen to this, and you tell me this if this and is I not the he, and dumbest I hear, thing. And I didn't hear this comment because I don't watch. He I don't, said I don't follow any of this. He said that if the 49ers 
trail by four or more points under Shanahan in the fourth quarter, they have a losing record. I forget what it is. It's like pretty, pretty bad, right? Okay. It's like, you tell me how many other teams that are trailing in the fourth quarter at any point in time by four or more points that actually win those games. I'd like to know that stat. Right. He didn't offer that up, of course. Right. Of course. He said, Shanahan's system is built on uh, getting a lead and keeping a lead. So is everybody else's. I was going to say, I think that's the asshole. point that's the of point. football. Uh, right. Right, you don't you don't want to be having to play from behind all the time. I've never met so they you know the the way that show works is I forget who the other guy is like there's a host I have to look that up I, 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 I can't don't. remember it's Nick Wright I, and another guy I, 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 yeah, but they make the other up. guy just seem like he's an absolute idiot all the time and Nick Wright is like the the, the genius of the show and I I would love to be on this show just once it, again just to say dude listen like are you, so you're telling me that offensive coordinators and coaches actually have a game plan wrapped around the fact that they're going to be losing the game. Like if that's the case, you're not going to be a coach in the NFL. You're not going to be a coordinator in the NFL. You're not going to be a leader in business either. You're not going to be anything. You're going to be, you know, you know, checking people out at the Kroger. Is it Chris, Chris Broussard? Sure. And that Kevin, right. Kevin Wilds. That, that sounds right. Yeah. So yeah. So Chris, but you know, he covered, I think that's right. He covered basketball for yeah, forever. He did. And now he got demoted to this shit. Um, well, he was on, yeah, I mean, he was on ESPN for a minute and then he ended up, now he's with, I guess they're, they're Fox. It's I Fox Sports yeah. 1 and, yeah. and, and the only thing people watch on there is, is Skip Bayless. Nobody watches any of this other shit. I mean, that's, I mean, that's true. Because Skip, Skip's actually worth watching even, and, and again, Skip's biases. Right. We're not, we're not promoing Skip. No. We're just saying people, but, but, people, again, Skip, but that's what people watch. And Skip's that's a Cowboys fan and he's very upfront about that. Nick Wright clearly isn't a 49ers fan and he's upright. He's, he's just not upfront about it. He was like, well, if you look at the analytics and you know, if they're trailing in the fourth quarter, they have a losing record. So do a lot of other people because that's the last quarter of the game. You stupid. Yeah. Now I hate Fox Sports One, so I hate them too. We're just taking down channels one by one, <laughs> networks. I it should just be us. Just we should be the only show talking about sports. I mean, that would be a lot of fun. I don't know if people would agree with my opinions. I'd be very biased, and I'd be honest about it. I'm like, if you look behind me, it's not hard to figure it out. I, mean, I think, I, I th- honestly, I think if you're if you're honest about most things, most people are forgiving. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, that's what I honestly think. But who knows? Anyway, um, but so, yeah. so yeah, so so interesting, big big games this week. Obviously, college football, NFL as well. Yeah, I mean that's going to be very telling because I, I, you know, no matter what, I, that I think that's still the NFC Championship game, assuming everybody stays healthy. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's a, I think you get a rematch, um, which I really do want to see. Of course, you remember who picked who at the beginning of the football season? I did pick the 49ers. You did you? Did. I did, and I'm sticking with it. Um, so, so that, that I don't think that, I that, did that. No, did you I? didn't. No, you did not. Um, cause you're superstitious, even though you try to act like you're not, I, you don't want to pick your own. You don't, not just yet. doesn't mean you don't want them to win. And we all know this. We, you know, so when they played the chiefs in the super bowl, I'd pick the Niners. Cause I just thought that, that we were a better team. I'm like, I just think we're a better team, but, um, yeah. But you know what you didn't have? What's that? Patrick Mahomes. That's, that's true. Chris Collinsworth somewhere. Or a quarterback that could complete one more Chris pass. Chris Collinsworth just ejaculated when I said when you said Patrick Mahomes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> now I will say that guy loves him some Patrick Mahomes. He does. Now I will say I like Chris Collinsworth. I do um, too. I really do like him. That was miserable, Jason Garrett on Sunday Night Football. Uh. <laughs> that was awful. I was like, get him, sh- get his terrible. butt out of the booth. Oh, that's awful. Oh, was... meanwhile, Rodney Harrison and Tony Dungy get demoted to being on the field yeah. for the pregame, and you have Chris Sims, who never won anything that I'm aware of other than being <laughs> daddy's boy with that stupid ass haircut. <laughs> And Maria Taylor, fine, whatever. That's a that's that that whole thing. Jason Garrett and and who's the other numb nut that's on there? Uh, Who is that? It's it's uh, the safety for the Patriots. What's his name? Um, he's the what is it? Who is that? Hang on, it doesn't matter. And you you put Tony Dungy and Rodney Harrison. Mm-hmm. 
on the sidelines. Yeah. Now you didn't fire him because you're not that stupid, right. NBC. Yeah. But you put those guys in the studio pregame. Yeah. Jason Garrett. Yeah. yeah. Also winner of nothing. No. Nothing. Chris Sims <laughs> and dude. You got a Hall of Fame coach and a Hall of Fame uh safety. Uh, safety. Standing on the sidelines in the cold. Winners of things. With Chris Collinsworth's kid. Yeah, Jack. Yeah. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. I mean, what? So I don't like NBC. Screw you, NBC. Well, why, they why shouldn't have let Al Michaels go. Yeah. They watched him walk out the door thinking, Oh, my God, and he is so apathetic now, man. He's like, of course there's another flag. Because like this, the Dallas game, this, they were like 7 million pennies. Of course, here's another flag. I'm like, you're so put out with being on Amazon calling this game. And Herb Street's like trying to rescue it. But Al does not care. No. Al is, have to. Al is grumpy old man making more money than we will ever see. Just no, being like, yeah. of course that idiot Cleet Blakeman threw another flag. He doesn't care. No, he doesn't care at all. You know, I'm like, geez, <laughs> Al, what happened? He doesn't care. He's like, I'm going to no. talk about what I want to talk about. No. Piss on you all. Yeah. Um, yeah, NBC sucks. NBC, yeah, we just took on another network. We did. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Upsetting. I like Chris Collinsworth. No, I love actually, Chris Collinsworth. I actually like Mike Tirico. I like Mike. No, no. I think Tirico's... The they didn't do a bad job putting no. Tirico in there. No, I, I don't. I, I agree with that. I don't think they did a bad job with that. That's not what I'm saying. But Al Michaels is still Al Michaels. Yeah. And I thought he and Collinsworth had great chemistry. Yeah. You know, so so you know, I, I like me some Well, Chris Fox did stupid shit, too, right? They let Aikman and Buck walk right out the door, and that was I stupid. Know, it was completely stupid, because now they're on Monday Night the Football. The mothership. And Monday Night Football is just not Monday Night Football Aikman's anymore. voice doesn't even sound the same. They got that dude. Have you noticed that his oh, voice on the oh, freaking broadcast? I'm like, that doesn't even sound like what he sounded like on they, Fox. They have like they have like altered the tone of his voice. And you've got that guy doing the Phil Collins song. I guess he's a country guy. I guess it's I guess it's Brian Lucas or whatever. <laughs> it's not. Jake Jake Bryan's no, no. <laughs> jo Josh McCombs Lucas. I don't shit. I don't know the same i don't know if it's, a, it's that, i don't luke, know if that's the same luke combs but he does not sing that, that's not so. the guy that's not the same asshole that did uh fast, fast car. car no no so, somebody's doing in the air tonight don't play it by the way because we'll get busted um <laughs> by the i mean that 40 that 40 cents we're getting hey listen you know it's uh chris oh, stapleton is that who that is yeah with some snoop dog and cindy blackman santana I oh guess I guess the Snoop Dogg. Just Dog throw that shit in the trash. I mean, for, oh my god, I Chris hate that. Stapleton. I hate that whole thing. I just hate all of it. And then they go to the broadcast, and then they, it's the the progressive pregame rush and all this stuff. It's like, hey guys, come on, just I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, Chris, I just Chris I think Stapleton. I'm getting grumpy. I just think I'm getting a. Be you and grumpy. Al, you and Al are not. We not are happy. <laughs> we are. <We're laughs> Of course there's another flag, you asshole, Cleet Blakeman. I gotta go take a shit. <laughs> Back after this. On Amazon Prime that no one watches. Wouldn't that be but beautiful? But I'm getting paid. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It's almost halftime, a uh, two-minute uh, warning we here. We have 1,000 viewers, and I'm going to take a crap. He's like, Al Michael says, we'll he be back after this, Al does I not go care. take a Al, shit. Al is making a ton of money actually, and doesn't care. Actually, I think Al would just take a shit right there on He might just poop like, in the cup. He's like, Red Herb Solo like, Cup, I fill you up. Let's <laughs> have some deuce now. We're two crapping it up now. Two Herb broadcasters. Like, That's excellent on the uh, out route that you just performed there <laughs> was a very crisp route went right into the bread basket out in the hole touchdown michaels so two broadcasters one cup that's right hey thank you all for watching thank you america thank you canada thank you far east asia yeah thank you cassie we're somewhere in the middle east and thank you cassie for coming back on the the, the show don't know why you did it but i appreciate it she likes us man she does she's trying to help us we need all the help we can we get. do every day thank you all so much we'll see you next week david doc podcast all things david doc on our website at david doc.com dave a and t doc doc dot com have a good week uh, full radio there for you love it love it see you next week folks see you bye